Hello everybody, it's Ricky from Connerty Meadows Farm and Soap Making with Natural Ingredients. I am going to do some plant identification today. So <clears throat> this is growing by us. Mint makes a really nice green in the soap. You can also infuse it in the oils for um, a touch of minty smell. But next to it, you'll see another plant. Now this one does grow wild here on our farm and this is actually catnip. If you'll notice, they look very, very similar. So please make sure when you are picking plants that you are properly identifying which plants are which. So right next to it, we also have some rhubarb. So this is obviously for our eating, but it can also be confused very easily with this plant here. If you notice, they look very, very similar. The stems are similar. The colors are similar. The difference is this is burdock. You can also use this in soap making. Um, people also use it in um, other medicinal purposes. Of course, here in Canada, we can't make any claims as to what is what. Uh, burdock has a little bit of a fuzzier uh, stem. If you'll notice in the rhubarb, it has a nice clear stem there's no extra fuzz the same with the leaves they're nice and more shiny looking and the burdock is a fuzzy fuzzy looking leaf on the back so back to the mint uh, for just a minute, uh, mint and stinging nettle can look very, very similar. Um, obviously, mint is uh, has a nice fresh scent to it, um, and you can pick off and eat the leaves. Of course, you can do that with nettle too, but yeah, you might get stung. Um, the only other thing that you can distinguish between them is that mint, if you look, shiny, very, very shiny stems and no hair on the back well there's hair it's just not um the same length as what the nettle is but the shiny stems is your biggest one to know that it's mint and not nettle This looks like a whole bunch of weeds. Uh, it could be if you were not someone who is looking for stuff for soap. This plant right here is yellow dock um, or curly dock. You'll you can see it's got uh, curly curly uh, leaves on it, and that's what the stock root looks like. Now this, if you pull it up and you dry the roots, you will get a beautiful pink soap. Of course, next to the dock is dandelion. So this is dandelion leaves. They also have many benefits and of course are completely edible. Um, the dandelion tops are also, if you dry them, you can use them to make a beautiful yellow in your soap. Just another quick view. It looks like a lot of green grass out here on pasture, but can you see the dock plant? For those of you that were wondering which one it is, I'm just gonna zoom in. So again, there's a nice dock plant um, that I will be able to pull the roots up and dry and make into pink soap. So I'm just out in one of our fields right now that the goats are gonna be turned out today. But before they get turned out, I just wanted to show you some more plants that can be used in soap.
please be allowed to be in the fields before you go out tromping around in some farmer's fields to uh, harvest some of this stuff. Uh, we don't want you to get into any legalities here. This plant right here, this is alfalfa. Okay, so you can dry this and uh, animals really, really love it. But you can dry this and it makes a really, really nice green in the soap. Now I wanted to show you the difference between alfalfa and clover, okay? So they both are green and bushy leaves and there's three, three leaves. So there's your clover leaves. And if you look on the alfalfa, it also has three little leaves. Um, just notice the size difference. Okay, clover and alfalfa. Your roots are also very, your uh, stems are also very different in the alfalfa. So you'll see that in the alfalfa, sorry, out of focus here, um, there is greenery spruits all the way down, okay? In clover, there's your shoots. They look quite different. This next plant here is um, a mullein plant. It's often referred to as nature's toilet paper uh, because the leaves are super, super soft. Now they look like the little hairs should sting or something like that, like uh, with stinging nettle, but they are amazingly soft. Now this is a juvenile plant. Um, so you can see here, it's still opening up in the middle. This will actually become a really, 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 really tall, skinny a top that grows yellow flowers. Um, and the flowers can be used in soap as well as medicinal purposes.